The fallen leaves on the forest floor make this hunter almost invisible. This is the Malayan pit viper. These snakes are mostly active at night, when they were also a bit easier to find. Juveniles were much more abundant in the jungle. We were lucky to see one not long after it caught a small gecko. The venom works incredibly fast, and sometimes the prey succumbs to it in seconds. The body of the snake is covered with a typical triangular pattern, on a background that varies greatly among individuals. Even from the same locality. But it is always in a combination of colors which help it blend in with the forest floor. Snakes with a combination of orange, pink, grey and brown were the most common in the area. Because of the large venom glands, the head is distinctly big and shaped like a spear. As I was returning from a nearby hill, the light from my headlamp revealed a big shadow, slithering in the drainage canal. At first I thought it was a small python but a closer look revealed it to be the biggest pit viper I have ever seen. I'm sure her heat-sensing pits detected me long before I noticed her. She was definitely aware of her power, as she was incredibly calm, and didn't seem to mind my presence at all. Instead, she started to coil up in her resting position. There is a very specific reason why these snakes are considered so dangerous to humans. And I was very lucky to have been able to find and film two specimens during the daylight hours. Watch carefully. Do you see the snake? This is precisely why they got their nickname Venomous Landmines. They trust their camouflage so much, they simply don't move out of the way and end up being stepped on. These snakes carry an incredibly powerful venom, and without anti-venom, permanent damage and amputation are usually the result of its destructive effect. Some of them live quite close to humans, so when venturing in these areas, we should always wear protective footwear. It was a great honor seeing in person the species that cured my fear of snakes so many years ago and consequentially set me on the path that I am now.